taking a close look at sex slavery. And still with me is actress and activist Susan Sarandon and a woman at the forefront of the battle against sex slavery and human trafficking, Somali. So I, I know that you had a really difficult childhood, Somali. Can you walk us through that? Yeah. Um, you know, my is right a lot the children in Cambodia. I was born, I don't know my age. I don't know who I am. I don't know my name. You don't know your birth call name? Me, Somali call me and it's not easy for sure that I need my parents, I need love, I need my mom. When the people come and look at me, he say like, he loves me, he want to bring me to find my mom. And you know, I like to, I like to go with him. You wanted to find your mother, he, yes. he used that. He used yes. something that he knew that you were vulnerable about. Yes. He told you that you could yes. find your mother, so, so he took you? Yes, so I just uh, go he, with him. He lied him. and said he was your grandfather, he right? He lied, right. Mm -hmm. You know, he saw me in the road that I don't have house and there's nothing to say, so he just come and, you know, I need love. So I just, okay, I go with you because I want to find my mom, because yes. I'm cold, because I want to, I don't know, I want to be in my, in the hand of my mom. After he, you know, just one day, he asked me to walk in, walk in, walk in for him. Working with that? Walking, like, first of all, it's like slave, you know, first start slave. three o'clock in the morning, take the water, like, or like slave and he just raped me. This man raped you? Yes. The thing is like... About how old were you, do you think? I was around maybe 10 or 12 years old, but I don't know, you know, how it's... Uh, because he just like, he threatened me, he made the knife in my head and then raped and then I feel like... It was really bad. Yeah. Really, really bad. Okay. And then so after that he sold you to a brothel, right? Yeah. Yeah. How old, about how old do you think you were, you were when you sold you to the brothel? 13 or 14. 13 yeah. or 14 years old. But the heart is not, you know, first of rape and dead already. My life is finished. You, at the, the first time he raped you, you felt dead inside. Yeah. You felt like your life was over. Mm -hmm. So when you were in the brothel, did you feel like your body was just not yours and it was it's gone? It's not me. It's not me. I'm, I'm dead. It might, yeah. You know, I'm dead. So they can do everything if they want. It was a way of survival. Okay. And I know you tried to escape the brothel, and what happened when you tried to run away? I tried many times to run away. They oh, captured you? Then they captured me, and then they hit me, you know, they put me in the cage. They make a snack, and then... They put snakes in the cage? Yes. And then they try to, you know, like, electricity shock. Electric I don't know how to talk, but it's horrible. Okay, we, all, we know that it was awful. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that you were able to share it for the audience to understand. Yeah. Let's talk about um, you getting out of there. Let's yes. talk about how you got out. How I got out? I'm, you know, I'm, I have, I'm lucky. I was like four years, five years in the Brussels, and then for the Cambodian people, I'm not beautiful for them. So they just let me out. So after you reach a certain age, like you reach 19, 20 years old, they mm -hmm. say that you're too old. Yes. And that the men don't want somebody that's too old. Yeah. So they obviously want children. The men in our country, what they like is young, young girl, 14, young. 10 years old right now, five years old, like Suzanne said. So I just want to let the people know that the victim is still victim all the life. It's not easy to keep it out. Now, you know, for me, my, I'm dead. But right now, I just want to survive because I want to help the girl and the women. You still feel are... dead inside? Yeah. Yeah. But there's feel... something in you that's fighting. So what's fighting? There's something that's still very alive. What, what she understands is that you need to replace something in these people you, you know mm -hmm. you need to take these women and give them self-esteem and give them a way of dealing with their pain and give them a profession and give them education mm -hmm. and give them love and take care of their babies and all of these things so it's not just a kind of abstract let's get the girls out of the house and then you don't There's know what happens real to that's them happening. There. she's very smart about yeah. making a system that exists but she needs the funds to be able to execute how do you get system. them out how I get them out, we work with the police, you know, to get information, provide them the um, HIV aid because a lot of the girls that they have been right now in the Brussels, they cannot escape from the Brussels. They can't escape. Do you have, do the police come in with like guns and they rush in? Is it like a raid? Well, the to police get them out? are kind of, <laughs> depends on which police, so some corrupt really, police because too. some of them are, it's a very corrupt system. Yeah. The government is very corrupt. And, but they have a, a, a place that's very accessible, so if the girls want to wander in to begin with, even if they're not ready to leave, they can still get sex education, they can get help, 
and then eventually if they feel confident enough they can leave and where the and they can some then tell you when there's a small child mm -hmm. and then they can go in and get a small child that maybe doesn't have mm -hmm. a five-year-old six-year-old seven-year-old who doesn't have the means right mm -hmm. to get out so they help these girls that are still functioning and and because if this is the life you know then it's not that easy to give it up all mm -hmm. the time right especially yes. when you're having all this these... is all that you know yeah all that you mm -hmm. know and is the the rescuing that you do dangerous is it dangerous for you is your life in jeopardy are there people that do not like you for what you're doing in for Cambodia? sure you know they burn my house and then they threatened my life they burned your your house yes yeah. yes and I, I was threatened every time you know <clears throat> My work is so is so dangerous, but I cannot see the girl, young girl in the brothel. I cannot see her. Yeah. You say that you're dead inside. You are so alive. You are so burning bright. Yeah, I know there's something inside of you that died, but it did not take everything. Yeah. And this happened to you for a reason, so that you can save all of these young girls. And you're doing yeah. such an amazing job. Yeah. You're absolutely amazing. When we come back, we are going to actually go inside of the brothels. There are two men that have gone inside and they had cameras that captured it so we can see what exactly goes on there and meet these two amazing guys that also are on a mission like Susan and Somali. We'll be right back.